So I'm sitting about an average of 203 pounds a week. My goal weight is to be under 195. I'd like to be just about this weight. We'll see where I end. So I'm gonna average about a pound of weight loss a week. That's eight pounds, easy math. My goal for the DEXA, for the body fat scan, is to be under eight. This is a huge goal. I don't know if I'll get there. It's a really aggressive one. DEXA is very accurate and being under 8% is actually very hard, but it's something to work towards. I'd rather fail a harsher goal than set something really moderate. As for myself, I'm starting at 172 pounds, as you can see, which means I have 12 pounds to lose in the next eight weeks, and I'm gonna be averaging about 1.5 pounds per week. And my goal for body fat isn't as aggressive as Josh's. I'd be happy with under 10%, mainly because I've never actually known what I was percentage-wise, so um, I also will be competing at 161 in the OPA, which is a month after a shred, which is 161? why- uh, yeah, 163, so mm. I'm gonna try to get down to 160 just to be a little bit um, conservative and have a little bit of room that to work with, bro. So yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be amazing, guys. Let's get it. If you guys have not been fortunate enough to join the group yet, it is right here, Summer Flex 8 Week Challenge. We've got a very positive community, so make sure to join that ASAP. Okay guys, the number one goal is to be realistic with yourself. Um, you guys will probably notice we're super washed. It's not the best lighting, but it's gonna be something that we can recreate later. We're not trying to create the absolute best lighting at first, something that we can't do later. So it's just accurate and uh, it's what you guys want when you start off. All right guys, here it is, 172 pounds. I have about 12 pounds to lose. We're keeping it real as possible. Um, like I've mentioned in our physique update video before, I hold a lot of my fat right here. I can be like one day out up here with my upper body. Like this is no pump. And then um, unlike Josh, I hold a lot of fat here. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just watch us progress guys. This is the first step, just being real with yourself, seeing where you're at, finding a good starting point, and then you know setting your goals to where you wanna be. What we want you to do is we want you to take a front, a side, and then a back photo so you guys can monitor your progress accurately. So keep in mind it's very different to relax versus if we're trying to look like really thick and big or with your back spreading up your back. It's going to be a very different look than your relaxed pics, but that's okay. That's what we're going for is that real look. So if you guys are considering buying these seeds, the huge tip I have for you is to try it friends first. So I was using my buddy Liam's larges. Uh, myself and Kyle just bought these seeds. I bought large, he bought mediums. But we thought about it and we're like, likely I should be a medium, he should be a small. You want all the advantage you can. So I tried these on, honestly they fit pretty perfect. So I'd really recommend trying different sizes and seeing what the smallest size is to get them with comfort. You don't want to be too much, but it's a good way to really know what's right before you go and spend $135 on these things. All right, what's up guys? Welcome to our light workout. We're kind of jumping into this. Uh, if you guys want to get the routine first and foremost, make sure you join our Facebook group. That is the first link down below. So yeah, we're starting with legs just because it's how we work within our schedule. We pre-filmed some of these workouts so we could get them out to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and for participating in this shred. It'll be a really good time. I just want to address a quick couple questions before I get into the workout. You've seen us squat quite a lot, so I'm sure you're not missing anything about me not talking about it. But So first and foremost, it is an eight-week shred, but a lot of the questions being, well, I don't really want to shred, I want to bulk, or I want to maintain. Can I still participate being in the group? The answer is absolutely yes. Get those photos out, guys. Um, once again, make sure you're taking your photos, not with some like crazy flex or we look amazing in some incredible circumstances. It can be very hard to mimic. Ours look incredibly average because we're really washed out. Um, maybe I wish we got a bit more shadowing so we could see some of the definition change. It was very bright. I didn't realize how bad the lighting was until reviewing it, but that is okay. All right, so through this routine, if you guys see on your programs, you will be doing two leg days a week. Now, this is pretty killer, um, but it's going to really help with your expenditure 
leg days really wipe you out and they really are a man making day or a woman making day in that uh, a lot of girls like my girlfriend she'll do three leg days a week which is crazy hard to me I respect that a ton I don't know if I can make it through it <laughs> so as you guys can see I'm, I'm pretty happy with how my squats are looking bar path is tilting a bit forward but otherwise I'm really happy with it depth is super good I gotta start squatting a lot deeper like I am here because the fed I will be competing in next requires me to do so they're actually below parallel which is a bit annoying but whatever I'll get it done the knee sleeves help a bit um, I've been liking them with the pop I've been kind of silent about it but I've had a little bit of left knee pain nothing too dramatic but it feels really good just be comfortable and kind of have that extra safeguard for myself now Kyle probably had the ugliest squats in the world about six months ago but he has done a complete 180 and he is definitely one of the cleanest looking squatters I know now his low bar just looks incredible and his weight is shot up hit a really clean 405 like look at this is just bar path could not be better it just looks so clean he looks so comfortable under the bar and it's really nice to see him with that comfort and it'll be cool to see how he feels once we get his knee sleeves so that'll be a really interesting thing for you guys to look forward to Alright, so another quick thing I want to mention, this is our leg press, it's a really really cool leg press, uh, this one's awesome because it really mimics the squad and has a lot of adjustments, you guys are definitely not lucky enough to have this unless you do go to Fortis like us, this is custom made by Sean, but any leg press will do, make sure you guys are getting good depths, you're not going overboard with the weight, this is high reps for a reason, we want that hypertrophy. Now as you can see you guys probably say, what the heck, you're supposed to do hack squats for leg press. And the answer is yes to that. But a quick tip for you guys, sometimes in routine, something similar in statue like this, they're both very relative. They can be interchanged if need be. So someone was on the hack squad, so instead of waiting around talking or twiddling our fingers on our phones for 10 minutes, we took a proactive approach and just went for the leg press first, and then we head over to our hack squad here. Uh, we love the hack squad. It's a ton of fun. Uh, it's, it's really good because I finally can really practice kind of my depth in a very comfortable, comfortable position. What we like to do is we like to increase the weight each time, progressively increasing the load and it makes it really tough. Hip thrusts are a staple. If you guys don't know much about this, please, please, please go check out our top three glute exercise for men video. That is imperative to your training. Please make sure you're killing your glutes. It's a necessary to a great physique. Now, uh, these are hamstring curls. Uh, this one's really funky, but as you can see, it mimics your lying down hamstring curl. It's nothing too incredible in that regard, but it is really good. Uh, we're getting a really good contraction. I don't know why I only did eight reps as opposed to the 10 here. There's some slacking. No, I'm kidding. We've been killing it, but yeah, the series is going to be incredible. So this was to get you situated. So at this point, today is Saturday, July 2nd, the day I'm uploading, the day I'm filming this voiceover, and this is the day you guys are going to be doing all of those things. Take your photos, do your measurements, get ready, get mentally prepared, weigh in, and then let's get started. Come on, say hi in the group, and let's see if we can help you out. We can get a group of people all coming together to really just help each other push each other and reach those goals, get really shredded, and it'll be really cool to see how things end up at the end. We're hitting you with another episode Monday that's going to be really good called Should You Be Cutting, Bulking, or Maintaining? This will be really relevant to you guys that are unsure of where you want to set your goals. Lastly, I like to do abs. I realize we haven't shown enough of our abs. Oh, you can see Jasmine Garcia in the back. It's funny she's there, but we didn't really end up saying hi or anything, but whatever. It'll happen one day. We're on the same team. So we uh, just did some crunches, and then we did a little bit of cardio outside, I believe, and it was a good day. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe and comment. Peace. If your waist begins with a two, eat. I see dead people. Dead. I need dead people. Lord, pretty flock of nailing kiss the ring. All hail the king. Long live ASAP. Put that on.